Hey guys, good morning. Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. It is Tuesday morning. I'm out here all set up on the rig doing the last of these brick buildings in the series. It's the last one. I just want to show you guys. You can see that's one. That's the first one I did actually like two weeks ago. And then that one. Big difference. See the end versus the side here. So they're coming out great. <clears throat> I got all 250 feet of power wash hose pulled out past that tree, back around the other side of the building. I got 150 feet of garden hose over here. Let's see, where are we? Over here, going to the back of the other building there and connected to water. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, disconnect some of my water hoses. I got too much on these reels for my normal day to day. I don't need to be riding around with 250 feet of hose on this 12 inch reel, so the Flexzilla short section and the other 100 foot section are coming off, going back on the spare reels. I got all 250 feet pulled off the power, the power washer reel today, mounted to my block. This whip line that feeds my reel has a pinhole in it. So I am buying some of those uh, quick change fittings, um, repair fittings from Russ today. Uh, but I'm also gonna buy another one of these whip lines, but my hose has been failing. In part, I think that might be because I pull them all the way out 200 feet. I'm constantly stretching these things. And I only run single wire hoses too, I'm not running double wire hoses. I like how light they are. And I like how smooth they are in your hand. They're not rough, don't make a mess. All right, we're gonna fire it up. All right, here we go, choke on. Machine on, stone cold.
not all glorious all right we're rained out for the moment looks like some clear sky coming so hopefully we'll be able to do something else in a few minutes I'm gonna go grab a coffee have some quick lunch just got a phone call to do an estimate from another housing authority that got referred to me by this housing authority so that's pretty cool so I'm gonna go take a look at that property Take a little break and see if we can't wash something else in a little while. All right, I'm all set up down here. That's across the street over there, which you can't see kind of behind the trees, is that big mural that was painted that we did the brick washing on. And I'm gonna wash these buildings right here. I just went into this attorney's office and asked them if I could wash the front of this real quick since I'm already here. And they're very likely gonna to say yes to me momentarily. And uh, in the interim, I am washing this building. Um, it's aluminum siding, it's an older building. It's been around for a while. They just had the bushes removed in the front. So all that has been exposed. I'm expecting that's gonna come off pretty well with 1%. We're gonna treat all this concrete, get this nice and fresh because we wanna get our name out there in this town. We got cobwebs all underneath all of this painted aluminum siding. And we know that our 1% mix is gonna melt that. It's a pretty good sized building. I'm set up over here, a couple cones for a little safety, etc. And then this is bigger than you might expect out back. We've got cars in the way, of course. So I'll be rinsing some cars because it's business, nothing I can do about it. All right, and this is the back of the building. You see, it's a pretty good sized building all the way up in there. I gotta get a whole back here, courthouse over there. So a good place for me to be. And I'm gonna jump in and start spraying some water. All right, so we already washed that other little building. Only took me a minute. I'm on this aluminum sided building now. And I'm going to get some dwell time going. It's starting to rain a little bit on me again. So we're trying to get what we can done as quickly as possible. We're going to see how much transition we get here on that grime, if any. Definitely going to get all the cobwebs off of this and anything that's actually organic. But I don't know about all that rubbing mark from the uh, bushes that were there. We'll see what a 10 minute dwell does. All right, I'm out back on this building now. And it does have mildew, like a black, you know what I'm talking about. The light black, misty kind of mold. You can see where the spray has transitioned it already. So this building definitely needs to be washed, soft washed, and we should have a real nice result. Thankfully right now, for me, it's raining lightly which helps me with all these vehicles. So everything's already a little wet. So any of this overspray I'm getting on these cars is gonna dilute a little bit as soon as it hits the car. And then I'm gonna give everything a quick rinse on the way by and we'll be in good shape. All right, this aluminum siding came out beautiful. All the mildew is gone. Clients can be real happy with that. There's lawyers' offices, offices in this building. So a lot of foot activity. Some damage. No big deal. All right, I'm done for the day. I got other things to do. It's still going to rain for the rest of the day. And uh, tomorrow, big projects all day. I believe I'm going to have Patrick because no school tomorrow. So we're going to have a good time. You guys enjoy the rest of your night.